In this video we are going to discuss the Soviet main reward in the crafting event which is currently going on, the Sherbakov project light cruiser, as well as to why you should never grind towards this vessel in the event, but I will get to that at the end of the video. First a look at the stack cars for the arcade and realistic modes. This is a tier 5 6.3 light cruiser for the Soviets. Of course it is non-premium. A look at the modification tree, and as it is non-premium it means that it will come stock with no FP or parts and everything will have to be grinded out. It comes with all the standard modifications as well as backup vehicles costing 70 golden eagles. The ordnance that this light cruiser has is standard with the Soviet Dream meaning that all of the shells will be the same as the other vessels that you have. The main guns being the 152mm with a HE, AP, HE and SAP rounds being the ones that you are mainly used for this against other vessels. The HE having 15mm of penetration and 915m per second velocity. The APC-BC round being 333mm of penetration and a 950m per second velocity, while the SAP has a 172mm penetration and the same velocity. The main secondary weapon of this vessel being 100mm guns, which has HE as well as SAP and anti-air rounds, the HE having 24mm of penetration and a 1000m per second velocity, and the other HE round having 73mm of penetration. A quick look at the x-ray view of the vessel shows that it has a very standard layout with two back and two forward firing main guns, as well as the camouflages that you can get for the vessel with golden eagles. Now as to why nobody should ever try to grind this vessel out compared to the other rewards that you can get in the crafting event. I mean just a quick comparison to the Chapayev, which is a free vessel in the Soviet tree. This is a vessel which the Soviets have a lot of. It is the same cruiser that the Soviet have in half of the tree, meaning that the event vehicle is nothing special at all and is just a standard vessel compared to the rest of the tree, meaning that it would just be another backup, on top of the fact that it does not have premium or any other benefit compared to any other vessel that you have in the Soviet tree already. But yeah, that's about it for this vessel, just another standard generic vessel for the Soviets, and no real reason to grind it out in the event compared to the other vehicles you can get, such as the QN506.